So the next thing that I want to show you guys is an effect that has more advanced options in it to uh, basically control your stroke. So I'm going to take the stroke off of this uh, text here by clicking on this no stroke color button here. So now we have no stroke and I'm going to space out the letters a bit more. Let's put it back to zero. So there we go for that. Now what I need to do here is create some masks to use the uh, stroke on. So I'm gonna right click on the text layer and create masks from text. Now what happens is we create a layer here that is uh, outlines and if I enable my uh, masks on here we can see that it has created masks of our text for us. Now the text layer here has been turned off just so you know. So the next thing we need to do is have our text outlines layer selected, go into effect, and then we're going to go to generate stroke. And you can pick the each individual letter if you want, or you can pick all masks and it'll do all of them. Now we can also just delete out the uh, regular text here. There we go. Now you can change your color of the stroke. Oops. Let's do uh, let's do a, a light blue because I like that color. Turn off our mask here so we can see what's going on. You can adjust the size with the brush size here. You can adjust the hardness. Now I'll zoom in so you can see what it's doing. We're on, there we go. I'm at 400% there, so, but there you can see what the uh, hardness does. I'm gonna zoom back out. Now we've got the opacity here. You can see what that does. It creates kind of like some kind of like trippy effect if you don't have it all the way up. Maybe if you're on like mushrooms or something like that, you can go like this all day and see what happens to your mind. Now we've got start and end here. Now you can see that it'll write on the, um, the stroke and you can keyframe this if you would like. And we got our start here, which is going to go from the left now as you can see it kind of it kind of puts them on in some like weird order so it's not always the best we've got our spacing here which you can see what that does sometimes I don't know when you might want to use that maybe if you just make like a dotted line you want to make like a dotted cutout line you can use this spacing here See that's why it's good to like mess around with your effects every once in a while while you're when you're uh, um, when you're using an effect. Just check out what all the parameters do, and then you can see how they affect how you can make cool effects. Just think in your mind, what can I do with this? Now we got our paint styles here, where on original image is just like a regular stroke around. If we go on transparent, it's gonna cut out the middle. And then if we go to reveal original image, we're gonna be able to reveal it using our end and starts here. So that's how the, the stroke works. Now I wanna show you how to make this a little bit better because when we use the end and start here, it kinda sucks, it doesn't, go in like a way that we want it, want it to. So let me show you what it looks like real quick. I'm gonna keyframe it and then I'm gonna go like three, 
let's go three seconds and then set it to 100. And then we'll do a, I'll do a RAM preview so you can see what it looks like. Let's do it like that. Oh. All right. Now it's kind of like it's writing on the letters in a weird way. So there is there is a way to fix this. And I'll pause the RAM preview. And let's uh, bring our N to 100. And I want to bring my uh, text back, actually. So I want to go to layer. Let's just, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just have to write it again. Let's bring this back in. Back to where it was. I'm going to turn off my outlines here. 